All right. Well, good. welcome to um, SPQ 2020 test class, the meeting for today. And um, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to do this. We're going to try and keep this to under 15 minutes because what I need to do is just grab some good video to be able to share with faculty this afternoon. So, um, oh, I always put this slide in because I have to remind myself. As students, don't feel bad about reminding your instructor, did you start the recording? Because without starting it, it doesn't save. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go back to screen for a second. I'm going to put our participants up on the side. And uh, I am going to do a real quick screenshot just so that I can take attendance here. Because that's one of the things that... Um, we are all trying to figure out how do we take attendance. But as you can see, I'm going up here, and I just got attendance. Now, the other thing I can do is I can mute everybody so we don't have to worry about background noises during the lecture. You'll be able to turn your mic back on individually. And I think one of the other things that I learned is that um, – uh, when you want to talk, if you just tap your space bar, I think it unmutes your mic for a short period of time. So, okay, back to my slides. So we are a virtual campus, and I'm trying to work to make sure that our teachers know how to teach so you can learn in it. And I think that's really a real key element of our transition into this, um, this process. So today, here's my goal. I want everybody to have an equal chance to participate. So I just muted everybody. I want you to put up the, let me put the chat bar up. And you guys know how to put the chat bar up on the side? If you do, just put it, pop it up like that and um, make sure that um, I want you to put a comment in the chat when you're ready to contribute. And we're going to go in the order of that chat box. And this is a good practice. Um, procedure that you can use for meetings a lot because uh, one of the hardest parts is everybody wants to jump in and talk and that doesn't work very well in either um, hearing each other or recording it or doing the transcript and the uh, closed captioning that we need to do. So when you're ready to make a comment, just get ready to put it, um, put a comment in the chat box. And we're going to go in the order that people put things in the chat box. I have three things I want you to cover individually. Describe your attempts to access the class with the link that I first emailed. I have a whole bunch of emails back on it, how unsuccessful that was. Then talk about your success or not with the assignment. And then lastly, how did you receive the notice for this class session? Because this has been a real problem for all of us making sure that when we send out a uh, class session from within meetings, does everybody get it? So once we've done those things, then we're going to open up uh, for a short discussion. I'll have you put your video cameras back on, and we'll just have an open discussion be amongst us. So that's the plan. So I'm going to slide up here in the corner and make it smaller if I can so we can look at the chat box and see what's going on. Madison looks like she's the first one. So unmute yourself, Madison, and uh, let us uh, make sure we hit these three items. Let me see if I can. Can you see me? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now I can see you. Yep. Okay. And now I can hear you. So speak away. So we're supposed to talk about the the email that we first got. I got the loading page error um, when I clicked on the link. It would well the, the link to join the class um, told me that the class was no longer available. Okay. And then for. What was the second thing? Second one is uh, how describe how your success or not at doing the assignment that was in the class. 
the assignment was just a loading page error. It loaded forever. Okay. That's good to know. So that, see, because one of the things that we're learning right now is do we do stuff like assignments in Teams or do we do those in Blackboard? And it looks like those need to be done in Blackboard. I did get assignments from Amin already that were PDFs that worked. Okay. So okay. he put them up as PDFs and you were able to look at them, download them, and do what you needed to do, or you were able to edit those PDFs? I've only looked at them. Okay. I'm not sure. So, so the assignment that I did, just so you know, was a real quick quiz. So good. And then the last one, how did you receive notice of this class today? I got a calendar invite from my, like... Excellent. Apple so calendar. in your Outlook. Yeah. In your Outlook, excellent. Because that's been our problem is I sent it specifically by using the method the team said, and it didn't show me anybody other than me being invited. Oh. But I'm glad that it happened for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Madison. Brittany, you're next. Uh, okay. So for the first question, uh, I had, it was just complete failure with the first class. I was able to actually get into it. And then that whenever I tried to click on the assignment, I got that loading page. Okay. So, and then what about uh, receiving notice of this class today? Uh, for this class today, I got a notice from Teams and my Outlook email. Excellent. Excellent. So have you gotten any invites to your other Teams classes yet? Um, to one other class and then also to the AIAS club. Okay. So, and were you able to get into the classroom? Yes. So one of the things about Teams is Teams has existed for about a year and a half mm -hmm. in the staff and business mode. It was last month in February, actually where they recognize this opportunity for student classrooms and stuff. And so they brought this forward real quick in March. In fact, most of the training materials start March 2nd. So, so we're kind of all guinea pigs as we're testing this <laughs> to see how it works. But anything that you guys see, in, in anybody in this group that sees the problem or anything, if you send me an email or post something in this class, then I'll be able to respond to it with faculty to try and fix those things. Okay, next one is Michael. Put the questions back up there. Sure. Uh, so the first time I tried to join the class, uh, I wasn't getting anything. Um, I followed the link and I tried doing it through the Microsoft Teams app and through the um, online, um, through like a browser. And I wasn't, thinking, yeah, and it, it just wasn't popping up with anything. Um, and when I had started Teams, I was in the Laureate Education, but it was the, the like, ACAD thing. Yeah. I, I'm not quite sure the difference yet. Um, but then once I did join the class, now I'm under it through the Laureate Education and then as a guest. And then... From what I've heard and now understand is that there is something. So what we've had to do from a faculty standpoint is we literally take our class list and cut and paste your uh, um, email address in, which adds everybody as, uh, let me just pop over here a second and I'll show you. It adds everybody as a guest. So I'm the organizer. These are all guests. Lulu is the other trainer that's working with me, and but and actually you can see she's not tagged as a guest. She's a normal member, okay? So all students are coming in as guests because they're guests to the domain is the best way to do it. It does not appear that it in any way limits your ability to participate in the class. So that's a good thing. Tyler, I think you're up next. Hi, guys. Um, so I had received the email through uh, Outlook the other day to access the class, and then when I hit, when I actually clicked on the link, um, it said that the class was no longer available, or I might have been removed as a student. Um, so I wasn't actually able to access the class. But then the next day I was, and then when the assignment was um, dropped in the in the 
in the class or whatever, I wasn't actually able to um, load it. It was just loading for the for the entire duration. So, yes, spinning and spinning. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what what uh, device are you using for video this morning? Um, right now, I'm just using my phone. Okay. So, uh, one of your hands tends to wiggle a lot. Oh yeah, my left hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a shaker for sure. <laughs> Oh, oh, so you don't bump elbows? You always no. <laughs> I'll try to base you guys. You okay, let me uh, side back up so you get all the questions. Okay, so uh, how did you get to do this class? So I got an, um, an email on Outlook about 15 minutes before the class. Yep. And then I was wondering, actually, because I was waiting until 9.30 to join the class, but I didn't actually get a notification that anyone was in the class yet. So I just went to our kind of like chat bar and I clicked join, maybe hoping that I would start the video chat or whatever, but you guys yep. are already talking, so I was, I, don't know, I, didn't, I never got any notification that you guys actually started it, but I got the one that said that you have a meeting. So when I sent out a meeting notice to uh, your teams, what I'm learning this morning is all of you got it to your office, which was what was critical. Yeah. Second but actually, is, and one of the best practices that I've, taught the teachers is to send out a quick announcement either through Blackboard or through Teams 10 minutes before just to remind people that uh, we're going to start in 10 minutes. Okay. I did not do that this morning because I didn't get the notice out till or, you know, till yeah. fairly late. So. Yeah. Well, the good thing is that it did add the time and the event on my calendar, like Madison had said before. Um, mm -hmm. So that was nice, but there was just no registration that, oh, George Welch has started the video chat and, like, asking you to join, you know? Yeah. 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 I don't think that will happen in your class. Okay. So you'll it'll be um, incumbent upon you to join as soon as you can. I started at five minutes before because that was my recommendation to uh, faculty. Started five minutes before, let the students come in and chat, just like they would have in the classroom and then take control of it and, and start. Okay, Michelle, you're up next. Hello. Um, I forgot the first question. Oh, yes, just signed it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for, um, I wasn't able to see the assignment yesterday. My only concern is that during the day, since I use both Outlook and Teams for other things outside of school, it tends to get lost with my other emails and notifications coming in. Yeah. So I didn't see the assignment um, notification right away, but today um, I did get both an email. I saw an email and a calendar reminder 15 minutes and five minutes before Excellent. the class session. So, um, yeah, it was good in that case. Okay. I think one of the best practices, and okay, let's, let's everybody turn on your videos, and let's just have a little general discussion here. This is cool. Too close. Okay, so um, a best practice for you as students is to make sure you go into your classroom like five minutes before and just check and see if things have been posted. Like I'm going to go into our team here and just see there's the notification of today's meeting. And you notice I did this in a pre-quarter start. These are called channels, and your faculty can create a whole series of channels, you'll probably end up with a week one, week two, week three channel where the stuff for that particular week is in there. So, but if you go in there, you can always join from where the meeting invite was sent. Now, you won't find it. If you come in in general, you won't find it in there. But you will find it in the, um, in the channel in which the invite was sent. So let me go back to uh, the pictures. So I want to try, okay, we're already at about 14 overall minutes. So let's, um, just a real quick wrap. Anything that you guys see as a major problem with doing classes this week? I don't think so. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a challenge, but. I think the biggest challenge we will have is faculty getting comfortable with talking to a TV screen? <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. And and I gotta say, um, I've I've uh, spoken of all of you in several of my meetings as uh, 
the guinea pigs that Ashley gave me to try this. And, and I do appreciate you being part of Team GP, okay? Of course. I know. So now the other thing to remind your faculty of is don't forget to stop the recording, okay? Because if I forget to stop the recording, let me just do this. So in my presentation, I will always put up, oh, don't forget to stop the recording. And did I mention, don't forget to stop the recording? Because if I don't stop the recording, what happens is the recording goes away. And it's, it's useless. So if I go in here and hit stop recording, it'll stop. Then I can end the meeting. And the video automatically goes to stream and starts rendering. So we can pull it up later. In fact, later today, you should be able to pull up this video in our Teams channel by going to the channel for today. And you'll see in here, there will be a post that will be the, um, it'll also have closed captioning. So if somebody in the class was having a hard time being able to see, they could listen to the closed caption and they can download a transcript file that says everything that was said in the class. So. I think there's some pretty cool tools here. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording and say thank you all for participating this morning. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.